Welcome to Food Tech Simplified. You are listening to Arib Irshad, and today I am going to draw a mind map of food technology. Now, this is going to be relatively different video than my existing videos on the channel, and this video is going to be helpful for the students who want to know about the subjects that they are going to study in college. Maybe there are students in class eleventh or twelfth who want to know that what are the subjects they are going to study in their graduation. or maybe there are students who want to know what are the subjects that they are going to study in their post graduation although this mind map will cover most of the subjects or sub branches uh, at the graduation level still this is going to be helpful for the students who want to know how different subjects are interconnected with one another uh, maybe you are already maybe you have already developed an understanding that how different concepts or different subjects or sub branches are interconnected with one another under food technology but this video is specifically going to be helpful for the students who want to know the subjects and who want to know what are the interconnections how different subjects and different concepts are interconnected with one another all right so let us keep food technology in the center and one of the primary branches without which food technology would not exist is food science now as you can see there this arrow is two headed that means food science and food technology are both interdependent now food science if you don't know about food science and food technology i have separate videos for that you can watch them i will link them down in the description but in simple terms food science is about the laws physical chemical or biochemical laws of food uh, which lead to food technology eventually that means if i conduct some experiments on an apple let's say and i get some results now these results will help me to understand what is food science and when i use these results to maybe preserve a uh, preserve the apple or maybe make a product out of apple then that application is known as food technology so food science and food technology are both interdependent and food technology is basically the application of food science and food technology is more industrial oriented and one distinction let me tell you one distinction over here that usually uh, in india that in india you will see that bsc or bachelor of science are more oriented towards food towards food science and btech bachelor of technology are more oriented towards food technology and that is for a reason btech is usually and btech is usually meant for industries so that's why we need to know the food technologists need to know the application of food science whereas bsc food science is more theory oriented now that doesn't mean B, uh, bsc is bad and btech is good i have a separate video for that and i will also link that down in the description so let's move on now there is another sub branch or topic you can say that is food chemistry now food chemistry lies under food science and it is all it can also lie under food technology now what does food chemistry mean now many students are just scared of the word chemistry uh, many students hate chemistry but let me tell you that food chemistry is very easy as compared to the organic chemistry that you have studied or that you are going to study in class 11th or 12th this is relatively very easy so food chemistry basically includes carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and so on basically the components macromolecules and micromolecules that are present in food you have to study them under food chemistry and the different reactions that undergo in food uh, maybe the different reactions that occur in carbohydrates maybe the different reactions that occur in fats or proteins you are going to study them under food chemistry and food chemistry is a very basic subject you usually study that in your first year maybe in your second semester and this is a very basic subject now here is another branch food engineering now food engineering is a study of processes uh instruments equipments or methods that allow food processing to be more efficient to be more faster to be easier and under food engineering now as the name suggests engineering this is math oriented subject so these are the subjects these are the sub subjects or concepts that you are going to study under food engineering unit operations heat and mass transfer thermodynamics fluid mechanics uh maybe you will also study refrigeration and air conditioning i have not mentioned that over here so food engineering is usually studied under btech and mtech so the bsc students may not need to worry so much about food engineering still food engineering is one important branch under food technology 
and this is mathematics oriented this is uh, this involves a lot of numerical problems and mathematical problems again many students ask me that sir we are very weak in maths and we just hate maths completely so what should we do uh, should we take btech food technology well i think don't let mathematics or don't let numerical problems stop you from choosing this interesting branch well food technology obviously includes biology chemistry and physics and this mathematic numericals food engineering is well but if you are really determined to uh, choose food technology if you are really interested to choose food technology then you will also uh, get through food engineering you will definitely cover food engineering you will excel in food engineering now believe me i am not a expert in mathematics but still i was able to steer my way clear of the food engineering concepts the subjects that are stated here under food engineering now there is another branch that is food processing now food processing and food engineering are interconnected and why is that so let me tell you food processing let me define food processing in very simple terms food processing is the conversion of food into a finished product to enhance its shelf life or improve nutrition or enhance the taste or visual appeal for example baking now in baking you know that there are different ingredients raw materials like flour or you can call it maida if you want and there is sugar maybe there is eggs and different raw materials you combine them uh, you improve the quality of these raw materials and make into a finished product you convert these products these raw materials into a finished product that is food processing in simple terms now how is this interconnected with food engineering now as i said as i already mentioned that food engineering involves the study of equipment or machines or instruments that are used in the processing of a food product so that's how food processing and food engineering are interconnected and if you are really uh, just if you are getting confused about these terminologies like food science food technology food processing and what is the difference between all of these branches they they seem very similar to one another and i totally get it a lot of times these branches or these concepts are used interchangeably but still there is some difference between each of them and i have a video a separate video now you might you might think at this point that i am just uh, promoting my videos through this video but uh really the scope of this video is within this this uh, i want to draw out a map a mind map of food technology and i don't want to get deeper into the definitions because if i get deeper into the definitions this will extend the duration of this video and i don't want that so uh, i had i have written a ebook an ebook with vijaya who is also a team member here at food tech simplified and i have mentioned the whole process from the whole process of conversion of raw materials into finished products and i have taken an example of bread how bread is developed and i have also mentioned at the end of the that ebook i have also mentioned some of the key concepts you can download that ebook free of cost uh, i will link that down in the description you can check that link and i will also link a video uh, where i have explained these different concepts the difference between these concepts all right so let's move on now here is another sub branch of food technology and you are going to study this extensively irrespective of the fact that you are in graduation in bsc or in btech you are going to study this extensively and there are many uh, food products included within food products technology and what are these food products well these are dairy technology that means it includes milk and milk products milk products like butter cheese ice cream uh sukumar there's outlines of dairy technology is the standard textbook for dairy technology or dairy science i would highly recommend you to check that out then there is fruits and vegetables cereals and pulses meat poultry and fish bakery products beverages fermented products now what are fermented products fermented products uh, so the, one of the most basic example is pickle pickle is a fermented product or alcohol is fermented wine is fermented these are some of the fermented products and you are going to study them extensively under food products technology 
Now here is one of the most important concept that is connected with food technology and that is food safety. Why food safety is so important? Well, if the food is not safe, then it can cause harm or it can cause disease. In the worst case scenario, if the food is not safe, it can even cause death. Food safety is a very important issue and it is a global issue that needs to be addressed. Today, the day I am recording this video uh, is celebrated as World Food Safety Day. Today is 7th of June and World Health Organization celebrates this day, 7th of June, as World Food Safety Day. Why uh, food safety is so important? Well, I already told you that if the food is not safe, it can cause you harm. It has the potential to even cause death. That's why food safety is so important and that's why it is a crucial part of food technology. Under food safety, you are going to study hazards, different hazards. There are usually three types of hazards. You are going to study about risks, food laws. Well, if you are from India, uh, you are going to study extensively about Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. That is FSSAI. Not only that, you are also going to study about different uh, organizations or different laws uh, before FSSAI that existed before FSSAI. For example, for example, FPO, Food Products Order, MMPO, Milk and Milk Products Order. Similarly, there were different laws and what FSSAI did or what Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 did was to combine all those scattered laws and combine them into a single umbrella, under a single umbrella. That's what Food Safety and Standards Act did in 2006. So you are going to study about FSSA extensively and you might also study about uh, FDA or US FDA or different organizations, uh, different international organizations that exist that ensure food safety at international level. You are also going to study about HACCP, one of the most important concept under food safety. You are going to study about Codex Elementarius Commission and some miscellaneous concepts or maybe important concepts that depend on your college uh, curriculum such as good manufacturing practices, GMP and good hygiene practices, uh, GHP. Now there is another interesting branch uh, that is connected directly with food safety and also with food technology and that is food microbiology. Now many students are scared of the word microbiology. They think that oh, oh my god this is I, I have not studied biology and how will I be able to study food microbiology? Well, let me tell you that food microbiology is relatively easier when compared to class 11th or class 12th biology. This is relatively easier. And this is also interesting because this is not only connected with food technology directly but food safety as well. There are many pathogens or bacteria, mold or fungi or virus uh, that can enter into the food or that can develop in the food and that can cause, that can enhance the risk of a disease. So that's, that is what we tackle under food safety and food microbiology or food or there are many microorganisms that we need to curb using the methodologies of food safety. So that is how food safety and food microbiology are interconnected. Under food microbiology, you are going to study about different microorganisms such as bacteria, mold, virus, fungi, what is their industrial importance and different products just like you studied, uh, just like you are going to study milk, milk products, fruits, vegetables under food products technology. In the similar fashion, in the similar way, you are also going to study the spoilage of these different products, how the bacteria or how molds or fungi are responsible for the spoilage of these different food products such as milk, cheese, uh, canned products, meat, poultry, fruits, vegetables, sugar and so on. And you are also going to study about HACCP. You are going to study about a 12D concept. I'm going to make a separate video on 12D concept. Uh, but this is what you are going to study under food microbiology. And let me tell you, even if you are scared of biology, don't let this bother you. Don't let this stop you from choosing food technology because food microbiology is essentially one part of food technology. This is not the entire part of food technology. So don't let this bother you. Don't let this scare you. All right, so moving on. Now, there is another branch that we study under food technology and that is also interconnected with food microbiology and that is food preservation. Food preservation, as the name suggests, 
uh, we preserve the food to extend the shelf life of a product. For example, let's say that you buy milk, like one liter of milk and you take it home. Now, when you bring that milk home, either you refrigerate it or you usually boil it. And why do we do that? We do that basically to extend the shelf life so that we can use it for an extended period of time. Essentially, that is what food, uh, that is what shelf life is in simple terms. Now, as you can see here, I have used another arrow between food processing and food preservation. And why is that? If you have studied food technology already, you might have observed that uh, in Food Facts and Principles by Shakuntla Mani, the food preservation techniques are similar to the food processing techniques that have been mentioned in Food Facts in Food Science book by Norman Potter. So essentially, what both of these books are trying to convey that the food processing methods and food preservation methods are same. Just the terms are a bit different. Essentially, food preservation means the techniques that we use to preserve the food, but these techniques can be used interchangeably uh, with food processing. So what do we study under food preservation? Well, we study different methods of preservation. For example, you will study cold preservation methods or you will study hot preservation methods or heat treatment methods. Uh, one of the most used example is pasteurization. Pasteurization is essentially heating up of the milk for a certain period of time at a certain temperature. I'm not going to get technical about pasteurization. Uh, that is beyond the scope of this video, but essentially there are different preservation or processing methods that we use to extend the shelf life of a food product. Also, under food preservation, you will study food additives. Food additives are basically some components, maybe they are natural or maybe they are synthetic. Uh, components that you add to food products to extend the shelf life. They, they are basically the modifiers of shelf life, if I can say so. So this is the mind map of food technology. And as you can see, almost all the branches are interconnected. Almost all the concepts are interconnected with one another. And that is the idea behind food technology. If you are just studying food engineering, you cannot isolate food engineering as a sole subject as a singular subject because that is interconnected with different subjects. You cannot study food safety by isolating food safety as a singular subject that is interconnected with different subjects. Obviously, you will need to know uh, how the product behaves under different conditions to ensure the safety of food. You will need to know the nature of the food, the essence of the food to understand how you can process the food, how you can preserve the food. So that is why Every concept on the screen right now holds almost equal importance under food technology. Now, I have intentionally left out some of the branches or some of the concepts under food technology. For example, I have left out food quality. I have left out food packaging. I have left out biochemistry. Because essentially here in the mind map, I wanted to focus on some of the core branches or some of the core concepts around which the food technology revolves. So these are the major core areas under food technology that you are going to study uh, as a student. Maybe as a food science student, you may not study about food engineering or numerical portion of food technology, but definitely as a BTEC student, you are going to study all of these concepts in your graduation at least. All right, so this was it for today. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can also talk to me one-to-one -one, uh, on Instagram, foodtech underscore simplified. That is my Instagram handle. You can also talk to me over there or you can also email your query at foodtechsimplified at the rate gmail.com. I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.